My name is Alexander Azimov, and today I would like to present our new instrument, which enables us to experiment, to, uh, to compare different networks. But first of all, let's imagine. Imagine that one day you need not a channel of IP transit channel, but something more tricky, CDN or something else. And you will need reasonable latency in different regions. You will have a lot of options, by the way, and you may be lost a number of uh, booklets with nice pictures. You will find a lot of them. But eventually, it will result in a large amount of your time spent and wasted with very few results. Unless you connect and try it, you will not be able to assess the quality of the service. And in some cases, it will be even a long term testing, unless you have a real attack, you will not be able to evaluate whether it is operational or not. And therefore, there is a lack of quality testing of different networks. What we wanted to do, uh, we wanted to be trained in drawing nice pictures, but also to get maps which will be a result of the calculations and estimations uh, rather than that that is included in leaflets and DNS output. And for solving this task, we decided to use RIPE Atlas. It was quite evident, quite visible, because RIPE Atlas IPs, there are a lot of, but they have some limitations. You will have only one time experiment with not more than 1,000 probes. And therefore, we wanted to create a simple tool, tool, quite easy and simple, which will be easy to use. And accordingly, the first thing to do, we uh, made a heat map, heat map. And for that, we take some assumptions that the dots is not a dot, but the information of delays in the radius of 250 kilom kilometers. Uh, you can dispute this, but this is the assumption we, to, we take. And as one of the purposes of the experiment, we selected the registrars. And the first one to view in terms of the latency was APNIC. As you see it uh, from this picture, it lives very far away. But let's move on. Afrinik is located somewhere in the South America. Arin is in uh, in the east. We failed to measure ripe net because they do not publish. And in Atlas, we uh, cannot generate their packets. And we decided to select the site, which uh, has no connection to the RIPE, and Yenok was our choice. Yenok, quite surprise, surprisingly, is hosted somewhere in Amsterdam, and quite probably uh, Amsterdam would like to join the Eurasian community. We will be pleased to admit you there. Uh, these are old jokes, but let's show the real case uh, that showcase the use of this tool. And we compared the providers, service providers. Comparing DD, DDoS mitigation providers, the first one is a company which announces on its website that it has over 100 POPs, presence points. The picture is quite nice, and the delays across the world are quite slow. On the second, in the second position, we have another company with over uh, 30 pops, and the map is worse. The third one is with about 10 present points, and we felt very upset and uh, a lot of problems with the delays. We, we took another operator with about 10 points of presence, and the situation got better here. We made another pattern or mode, which enables us 
us to see this latency or delays in the uh, in other re uh, regime. What is the conclusion? Yes, the point of presence is important when measuring the delays, but nonetheless, as you can see, it, the same number of uh, points of presence can show different results. But the difference in the number of points of presence again can provide quite comparable results. But let's view this problem from a different angle. What we have for, for with DNS output for these operators, we received the following picture, that two out of four operators for that purpose, when managing their traffic, they use DNS balancing. In other cases, the whole traffic balancing is on BGP. Why is it important that in one case DNS and in the other one BGP? Where is the, the significance? Uh, GDP, Unicas, and DNS, they are two major methods of traffic balancing. And they have the similar targets to make sure that the traffic remains local in the region. And in case of GDNS, it is done through the provision allocation of different addresses in uh, different uh, regions. This architecture was very popular with the CDN providers. But it's quite easy to deploy it, to manage it. GeoNDS has a lot of basis to do this, but there is one thing what applies to uh, DNS does not apply to BGPs because unlike the active users, bots will be pleased uh, to create overloads in different regions and create uh, this uh, so and make this network troublesome. What we have eventually our thanks to RIPE Atlas, because with this, with it, we can compare what we did not, we were not able to compare previously. This study also suggests that even though it's true that the number of points of presence affects the number of delays, but based on this number only, we cannot say that the delays are more or less, and we cannot judge about the quality of the service. And please note that this study is just an example example, because uh, this is your business, the, the data is yours, the entry codes are available on big caps, you can download and make similar maps. In addition to what I described, there is another regime which enables not to draw maps, but to find those segments required. That is all I wanted to share with you. Please compare the networks, select the uh, high-quality networks. Thank you very much.